Hello everybody and welcome back to another Destiny 2 guide. I just wanted to update this guide for episode Echoes by saying some important information regarding why it took me so long. I do apologize for getting to this so late, but I know that another video wasn't going to be as beneficial this late in the process unless I did it properly. So, what I'm going to do here is explain everything you need to know about not only Encore, but also all the secret chests and the catalysts and the intrinsic perks. So let's talk about the triumphs that we have and what they are. We have Encore Encore, which is to collect all three of the weapon catalysts, Discord and Discoveries, which is to unlock all three of the intrinsic perks, and Hack the Centaur, which is to collect all seven secret chests in the Encore mission. Before getting into this, I want to start off with some very important points. You cannot complete any of these chests for the triumphs on the standard Encore Overture mission. You have to go through the entirety of the Act 3 story, which means completing three separate versions of the Encore mission to gain access to everything. Complete Encore Overture, Encore, and Encore Coda. Encore or Encore Coda are the two options that allow you to collect all the chests and secrets. Encore Coda kind of acts as kind of like a final mission, like the final section of the mission that finishes the rest of the story for you. But both of those two are the only ones that have the secrets in it. Overture does not. Weapon Catalysts cannot be obtained unless you receive quests from Banshee the Gunsmith in the Tower. But do not worry, if you've already done all the secret chests up to this point, your progress is retroactively saved through the quests. Meaning, you can go pick up the quest from Banshee in the Tower after you've done everything, and all of your secret chests will count for progress, and the Catalyst can still be yours. The only requirements you need for these quests from Banshee are to complete one run of Encore on expert difficulty and to unlock the, th the secret chests tied to each catalyst. Now, let's talk about the mission details for Encore itself. The mission itself sets us up in the conductor's area that she has built on Nessus. She's left behind nodes and different clues for us to learn about what she's doing. She's traveling through time. She's trying to understand stuff about her past and how to re kind of recalculate the past to this new version that she wants. The mission has four new mechanics that will need to be learned to complete the mission and the puzzles, but only two of them will show up consistently throughout the secret puzzles. So the nodes are as follows. Connection nodes are green ones. They act as building blocks for puzzles, literally. They either build platforms and connect to other sections of the area, or they build new additions to a puzzle that you need to solve, such as reflection panels or lasers from one node to another. They can be placed in the green circular pedestals. Access nodes act as doorways through circular vex portals. Using an access node will op always open a portal leading somewhere else. They never usually are used for any other reason. They can be placed in the blue circular pedestals. The other two nodes go hand in hand, but really they're only used for small things. The yellow partition nodes are used to unlock doorways that weren't there before. And deletion nodes, the red ones, are exclusive to a secret chest puzzle where you delete the doorways that were there before. So let's talk about all of the secret chests in the order that me and my friend did them in our run of Encore. All seven of these secret chests need to be unlocked in order to obtain all of the intrinsic perks and weapon catalysts. So following this particular guide will get you everything you need to complete for the last three triumphs in the Encore Seal. Secret chest number one. In the beginning of the mission, you'll have to follow a far right section upward, which takes you into a long jumping puzzle. At the end of the jumping puzzle, you'll enter this room here. In the left side of the room is a purple colored alcove. Enter this room and you can find a white conflux in the middle of the room. Activate the conflux and four boxes will appear on the ceiling in the middle. It'll say simulation sync initiated on the bottom left. Destroy the boxes with the glowing white lights below them. Once a box with a white light is destroyed, the white light will transfer to another one of the four boxes. Destroying them in the order that the white light appears unlocks a second set of boxes around the outside of this room, where you repeat the same process, ultimately rewarding your first secret chest. Secret chest number two. One thing I want to mention is that there is a section in this mission called the Ancillary Transit Nexus, where you will see some portals open. This one will be your main hub area for a lot of these secret puzzles. You will be returning to this room multiple times. The first time that you come to this room, enter the one that's dead ahead of you to reach the aberrant code containment room. You'll see a giant minotaur sitting in the middle of the room. There are big windows up top that are closed off, 
portals with red diamonds above them and access node pedestals on the floor, the blue ones. What you want to do is initiate the sink as you enter and defeat the enemies that spawn and grab the blue access node from them. You'll want to place this access node on a pedestal that connects a beam to the window with a small white light in it. Upon connecting this portal to the node, you'll want to enter that portal into the room and there will be the white light ahead of you that you were seeing. Upon getting closer, it'll disappear and more of the cubes that you just experienced from the previous puzzle will spawn. Shoot the one with the small light next to it, doing so prompting a message that says defense protocol vulnerable. This allows you to go back outside through that window that was once closed off, it is now open. This allows you to go out, damage the boss minotaur in the middle and get his health down to the first segment. Then the process will repeat, you have to do this three times, connect portals, go up to the top of the room, destroy the proper cube, damage the boss until it's dead, and the chest will spawn in the center of the room. Secret chest number three. From the transit nexus, enter the portal that leads you back to the spawn area of the mission. You'll be outside being able to see everything that you spawned into. You'll see the jumping puzzle up towards the far right, and you'll see the big drop-off area where you spawned. Just dead ahead of you as you enter this portal, there will be a conflux. Activate this conflux that activates five small circular panels. You'll need to find all five of these panels in this outside area and shoot all five of them. There is no correct order, you just have to get all five of them shot in a time limit. Upon doing so, grants you the chest. Here is my run. No edits, no nothing, beginning to end, Hope this helps. Secret chest number four is also in this outside area with chest number three. Head up top to the area where you actually spawned into the mission and activate the conflux on the top of the balcony. Defeat the minotaurs, which are called independent variables, that spawn as soon as you activate the conflux. Killing them as quickly as possible and under a time limit unlocks the chest. Secret chest number five. After the first boss fight with Izira and Exonios, you will eventually make it back to a very spoilery area with some bodies. This will have a dialogue node that you can access, so kind of use this as your marker to know where you are. Once you get this dialogue, there is going to be a portal that leads back to the transit nexus. Enter the portal leading to the refraction construct. In this maze puzzle, you have to set up the puzzle by doing the following things. Defeat some hydras that spawn around the edges to create some ring pools. Defeat the enemies that have the green connection nodes and the vex craniums. Once you have all that, you're going to want to look around the center cube. You're going to want to note where there are three circular Vex pods inside of the giant box in the middle of the room. Go to the side of the box where those three pods are right up against the wall of that center cube. Then you're going to want to take the green connection node and place it into the pedestal in front of that wall where the pods are up against the center cube. Then you're going to want to go stand in one of the ring pools you activated Take the Vex Cranium and use the reflection pools you've just created with your connection node to shoot a laser through all three of the Vex pods at the same time. This will take some maneuvering to pull off and a couple tries to get down, but honestly it shouldn't be that bad. You're going to want to do this process twice, and then on your third attempt, a second connection node will spawn prompting you to use two sides of the cube to solve the laser reflection puzzle. You're going to want to do this two more times until the fourth try is done and the puzzle will be complete. Secret chest number six. 
also from this transit nexus that led you into the previous puzzle, you're going to want to head into the portal that takes you to the code containment room again. You're going to want to do the same thing that you did in the previous puzzle with the Minotaur boss, except this time you'll be following the access nodes into rooms and shooting pink colored nodes until the chest spawns. So in order, do the following. Look for the node that is not boxed up above you. Connect the access node beam to that portal below that node. Enter the portal, destroy the node, and repeat the process until every node in this room is destroyed. And last but not least, secret chest number seven. The final portal in the transit nexus leads you to a place called the Networked Simulation Archive. This will be a large cave system with big red laser walls and red pedestals. This is the puzzle that I was talking about earlier that is the only known use of the deletion node. This node, when picked up from a minotaur around the corner, allows you to delete these red walls and move through the puzzle while in this puzzle are some hidden VEX modules that help sync the simulation and ultimately finish this puzzle for the chest. I'm gonna include my full run of this puzzle from beginning to end with no skips so that you can see exactly what we did to solve the puzzle as well as where all of these VEX modules are.
Once you've collected all of them and synced the simulation, the chest will appear and you have completed all seven secret chests in the Encore mission. Your best bet is probably to go and complete this anyways, just to be safe so that it tracks for your gunsmith progress. So uh, just finish the Encore mission while you're, while you're already at this point. It, 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 you're not too far from the end anyways. You got like one more portal to go and then you're basically at the final boss. Hopefully this helped. This was a lot of work and a lot of time spent into this to make sure that this was perfect and that I got everything done the way I wanted it to be done. So I hope that this helped you guys. For those of you who are trying to get the episode Echo Seal done, I'm sorry it took so long, but really I wanted to make sure that this got done right. So that's all for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Special thank you to my friend Aaron for helping me out with this because I would not have been able to do it without him and all of you viewers out there. I hope this was helpful and helped you guys get your seal title. I'll see you next time in my next video, which will be the continuation of the Revenant seal title, where I'm going to be talking about the two new activities, the Tomb of Elders and the new exotic mission, Kells Fall. See you next time.